let's make a door today. Oh, let me rephrase that and say, let me try and make a door today using free wood. We had a roof replaced last year and all the material came on two by six crates. That's what this is here. I hate to see good wood go to waste, so I've picked away at it for a variety of uses and using it to make a door just seemed like a good idea. After removing all the nails, I ripped them in half on the table saw. So let's go over the things I know about making a door, which is nothing really. I have built a screen door before, which I would say was average, and I've built some pretty shanty kitchen cupboard doors in my cabin. Whether that actually helps me in today, today's project, I don't know. Um, I think it should be strong. It should be square. Um, it should have a diagonal brace to prevent sag, I guess, or drop. And it should close and it should open. I know that um, also it should, it should allow for movement because wood expands and contracts which is why I'm using tongue and groove boards that were given to me. So I'm down here at the shed now. There's the shed. There's my sawmill, which I'll get uh, probably going this week, I guess. But anyway, so here's the shed, here's the door. The walls are six feet tall, so the door opening is less than six feet tall. So probably what I'll start to do is just measure it first, see what the dimensions are that I need. Actually, I think the first thing I have to do is um, finish the trim work there. I had stored some wood on the sawmill over the winter, left over from last year, so I searched through that pile and found some hemlock to use here. Now moving on to the actual door. To be honest, the idea that I had in my head was to build a frame with the half 2x6s, similarly to how I built the screen door in the past, and then add the tongue and groove boards on top of that, and then somehow add more trim on the outside to that. And I guess I'm convinced of this idea simply because all along I had the intention of specifically using these tongue and groove boards. I mean, they were given to me years ago. I've successfully used them in the past and made a woodshed out of them, and you know, I have an abundance of them. So I'm just sure that I'm going to use them. I even sketch out a few different ideas of how I want to place these boards on top of the frame. But deep down I'm just not feeling it. It's hard to explain but I just kind of know that it's not jiving. But let me just put this diagonal brace in and that makes me feel better. I even lay out all the boards and gosh, I really don't like it. And thank goodness, I don't even have enough. We're on plan 163 at this point. Uh, I, the way I'm gonna do it now is I'm pretty much gonna build it all out of these two by sixes instead. Yay, back to the junk pile and the table saw. And at this point in the journey, I'm officially getting a bit excited. After much struggle, I now have a plan that I like and my creative juices are flowing. What I really liked about the 2x6s was the aged grey look that they had and that that look in fact matched the aged cedar that I had put up on the gable end. This way I didn't have to think about staining or painting the door to try and match it to the rest of the shed. So I'm just laying out each board and tracing the angles that need to be cut. I didn't have a power source down there nor did I have my battery operated palm sander unfortunately so I had to give all of the pieces of wood a bit of a sanding by hand. And that worked okay. Ideally, I would have liked to have sanded them a bit better, but. I put a few shims underneath the door um, and along the side to allow me to put the hinges on and moment of truth Come on, baby. no okay well it's not the end of the world this is proud i guess so i'm gonna have to cut some off the bottom that's okay i ended up readjusting the hinges which did help with that a little bit okay there it is. Now let's move on to putting a window inside there. 
I did have to take the door off to do this. And I just kind of cut, uh, notched a half an inch all the way around. Ended up having to take those two by sixes out to cut the other pieces out, which you'll see here. And just kind of cut out those little sections of wood. I got the window to be a little bit bigger than the opening so that I could place it just in like that. And then I took the little pieces of wood back and sandwiched them into place. When I first got my sawmill in 2018, I threw this on a scrap piece of wood just for fun and it's kind of stuck with me over the years. So with that in mind, let's make a sign. And just like that, it's done. I spent months convincing my husband that that piece of a broken bandsaw blade would be put to good use. I think I have slight hoarding tendencies from my mom. And I don't know if it's because both my grandfather and my mom were sign makers long ago, but I seem to have developed this thing for making signs as well. I'm just gonna go and spend a few hours and give it a stain. Okay, you guys, door is done. Today turned into a few days, naturally. Um, I made a sign, did some staining, tended to life, and, but yeah, so here it is. Uh, I'm really happy with how it turned out, actually. Um, never building a real door before. So let's see if it's checked off all of the requirements or all of the things that I thought a door should have. So I think it's strong. It's a pretty strong door. It's made out of two by sixes. Um, what else did I say? Oh, it should be square. But you know what? It um, doesn't have to be because the opening isn't square. It's a little bit narrower at the top than it is at the bottom. Um, it's shifted obviously since I built it and I did build this shed with green lumber. So my goal was to make it fit the space. So it fits the space um, pretty well. It has its diagonal bracing. Um, it has these boards um, placed with one screw in each end. And I think that will help allow it to move, and expand and contract uh, as it will through the seasons. It has a window, which I didn't say, but I really wanted it to have a window. So I put that window in and I think it, it um, turned out really good and oh yeah it needs to open and close it only opens to there but um that's because this one board here is is um sticking up a little bit so it does open and close though i will um probably just plane the bottom at some point and I do have a doorknob, it's out of my cabin, and that's not easy, easily accessible, so I will get that next time I'm out there and put that on. It's a little vintage knob. And yeah, so that's good for that. And my sign, um, I did hear a few comments from the peanut gallery saying that it's too dark. Um, so it's because I took the tire torch and I burnt it, yeah, just to like, you know, juice it up a little bit. And yeah, I did make it darker, so I may fix it, I may not. I'm really, who cares? It's just a shed, it's just a sign. Who cares? Um, yeah, so that's it for now. Uh, I'm excited, I think this project is done. I'm gonna finish staining the rest of the shed. It's not all done. And then I'm gonna get my sawmill going and start working on the next few things I've got lined up. Yeah, so this is kind of cool. We've had this mom come through with her two cubs I think a few times this year. They're eating all the grass down there. But unfortunately, I think, I think this will be their last time that they come through because they met, they met the dogs. That was fun. Still pretty cool to see. We get quite a few bears that come through this property um, in the spring and fall.